Now this falls under that category as well. Uh, because now you no longer have your manual transmission, you have an automatic transmission which makes um, renting a car more easier for you, it's more convenient, it's, it makes you as a tourist lazy. Yes. Right? Then you also have your power, uh, power steering, your ABS, air conditioning, air light, but you get your CO2 303 grams per kilometer. So it takes less. So yeah, it's more that it's less fuel efficient, meaning you pay a lot for, for fuel. But now let's go to the Hyundai i35. It's got five doors, radio, central locking, it's manual, but it has power ABS, air conditioning, airbags, but the CO2 is less. Only 258 grams per kilometer. So all this is No, this this part here is manual, the I35. But then if you look at the Mercedes Benz, okay, let's look at the Mercedes Benz. It's only got four doors, right? It's got radio central locking. Your CO2 is a lot less than the Fortuna. It's automatic also. It has power steering, leather upholstery, uh, air conditioning, airbags, and ABS. So. Upholstery. So leather upholstery is your interior, your seats, everything inside the car is leather, right? So it gives you a more comfortable ride, that your ride is more enjoyable, right? So you'll find that if you had to um, choose between uh, Group J and the Fortuna, the Mercedes and the Fortuna, which car do you think you'd pay more for? Say, you say Mercedes Benz, what do you say? Yes. You say? So it's a fortune as well. Toyota is the right answer. <laughs> well, can, I, can I just tell you why? Carbon emissions, firstly. Secondly, is your automatic. Right? Thirdly, it's a bigger car. So you pay for the space as well. Do you guys understand? There's certain, there's certain things that fall under the, the five lines. Yes, there's uh, only luxury. Yeah, yeah. Think logically, guys. You guys can't just think, oh, it's a Mercedes Benz. It's going to be uh, fast. It's going to be. It's worth it. Yeah, it's worth it. But you guys need to think further than just the, the logo of Mercedes Benz. Okay, now we get your luxury option, your top tier, the car that you get somebody to drive you for. Your chauffeur driving, okay, you guys remember the chauffeur that somebody else drives for you? Yes. Yeah, so these are your luxury options. Two doors for your partner, there's no kids, it's just you or your chauffeur driving, right? Leather upholstery, luxurious, comfortable seats inside, everything. Top tier, automatic air conditioning, petrol, airbags, everything that you need is in that car. However, the price is here. However, there's no TV. Is there a TV? There's no TV. There's no TV. Not in this particular car, but your Rolls Royce, your Bentley, it's one of those cars that have TVs, that have fridges, that have everything that you require that's unnecessary, that I believe is unnecessary, but it's in there. A fridge, so there's a fridge in the car, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, there's even there's even place for champagne for uh, like cigar connoisseurs. So that people who smoke cigars, there is a um, like a cigar place where they store cigars and everything at the right temperature with the right amount of Pressure as well as your humidity. Okay, now we have to move on to insurances. So everybody knows who, what insurance is, and I'm going to ask you to explain what insurance is. So an insurance is like it's let me say like it's a campaign. So a campaign. It's so. not a campaign. Uh, so what is it? <laughs> Mm, 
considering it as coverage, right? To ensure that you don't have to pay other like accesses or so it's something that you pay to keep you out of the dangers, right? Not physical dangers, but financial dangers. Okay? So there you have your different types of, of insurances when dealing with uh, car rentals. Uh, you get insurance for damages, theft, uh, collision, and we're going to quickly just go through this with you. So, you get two options. You get your cheap option, and then you get the option that's going to cover you, actually cover you, right? So, your collision damage waiver. It is an option that limits renters of the financial liberty in the event of damage of the vehicle or any part of So, if you are in an accident, and uh, you are the, the, the reason why the accident happened. Maybe you were driving and you were texting, or you were on a phone call, and your concentration just left the road for one second, and poof, accident, right? So you take this pollution damage waiver out, and what it does is it um, limits the rental to the financial liability. So what it does is you don't pay as much access as you would if you didn't have the insurance. You would literally just pay the access and it wouldn't be the full amount but just a percentage of it. However, your percentage of the access would be much higher than the car rental place. So let's put this in percentage one. You would probably pay 70% of the access and then the car rental place would cover the other 30%. It's not going to cost. Because it's true that insurance is. Let's say you borrow something in the car and like they get into an exit and stuff. Does the insurance cover the car? No. No. no so if I go into my car, so if you get into an exit, they won't cover my car, but I still pay. No. Because. Firstly, when you take out insurance, you add the amount of drivers. Who's going to drive the car? Because he might just be 18 and just got his license, meaning he has no experience whatsoever, making him a threat. It becomes a liability to the insurance, because now he is costing the insurance money. If I didn't borrow my car to him, the accident wouldn't have happened. So, I have so. If like, you need an accident, there's a that like the insurance in the United States is like a blue of the insurance in the way past the person that it was involved in like the auto. So this is what happens, right? When you find an accident, the police come, or if it's not such a big accident, you go to the police station, you go and report what happened. So photos and everything and is taken, photographs of the driver's license, the driver as well as the disc. So if you lie, to the uh, insurance saying that you were driving, they will find out at the, um, from the docket that is opened at the police station or at the, um, the scene of the accident. So there's no way for you to say that no, you were, you were there and you were driving because your license would, uh, wouldn't be taken, like a photo wouldn't be taken. So how would you have it? There's no way. So, what is insurance name? So, say, your car is insured, right? Mm -hmm. And mine isn't. Mm -hmm. So you bump into me. Mm -hmm. Like from the bank or mm -hmm. Anyway, you bump into me. And then you get the talk to the insurance involved. Who fixes my car? Your insurance. My insurance. And then it also fixes your car. Mm -hmm. I don't have to pay anything since you bump into me. No. You are not liable for anything. Okay, then you get your super collision damage rate, right? So this further reduces the amount of access that the renter is responsible. Uh, for the event of an accident. So now if you take this option, right, you are going to be in the position where the insurance pays for, or, or the, the car rental company pays for the access and you pay for the total amount. So now the rules are reversed. Instead of paying 70%, you're probably going to be paying 30%. So this is the better option to, pay, uh, to take out for the insurance. I mean, it might be a little bit more expensive, but what would you pay? Would you rather pay 500 rand extra, or would you pay 5,000 rand extra? 500. So that's the best option to go to, right? Then we move on to theft and loss payment. So, we 
we can all agree that losing a car is very difficult, right? You can't lose your car. You can maybe lose your car keys. You can lose by losing your car. It's very difficult unless it's stolen. Now you rent a car. You go maybe to Joke Central, have a party, get drunk, basically your car. What happens? Fold the the, the thing. The car rental. You throw the car rental, but now. You thought, okay, fine, nobody's going to steal the car, nobody's going to take, I'm not going to take out any insurance, nothing. So, now the car's gone. Do you know what happens? You are responsible to pay the car, or to pay the, what's the car's worth. So, say now you buy a luxury car, Rolls Royce, no, ready? You have to pay for the car. You have to pay for the car. I have to pay for the car. Okay, let's just say you pay for the car, okay? Is it that I able to fall on the back and say that it's going to be a car? That's not going to be your car, it's stolen, it's your port is stolen, it becomes a concrete car. So it's all it's in. They do have trackers, they do have trackers, but do you know, the thing is, right? We have such advanced criminals, they know where these trackers are. Well, the moment they steal your car, they're going to be searching while they're driving, they have other people searching. So that's why you have to have this insurance. So, if you're going to take insurance, you're going to pay for the car, right? Then, you have your claim loss waiver, which reduces the amount of liability that the renter is responsible for the event of um, theft. So, now it's the same like your collision damage, but now this is for theft. So, if you cheat, you take this, this package out for yourself, and it covers you, but you still have that access to pay. However, if you take the super theft loss waiver, this reduces the amount, then obviously now you only pay a small amount that you have to pay in access, right? Then we move on to your personal accident insurance. So, now you're in an accident and it's unplanned, obviously you are most supposed to be on holiday with your family, you are in an accident, you land up in hospital, but you are covered, you are when cheap, you did say, okay, it's fine, I'm not going to be in an accident. You weren't um, ignorant to the fact that things do change, and you took this insurance out. Okay, this insurance helps you in major ways. Say now you're in an accident, you're going to come for three months, your leg is amputated. All these things add up, right? In hospital bills, now your family still has to pay for accommodation because now you're a breadwinner, they can't go home without you. You know, all these things that play uh, in, in the role of you being in, in the accident, right? So, it covers the renter in the event of a collision, mostly as a third party product. So, what it does is it pays you as a third party, right? It covers accident support, debt, medical expenses, and accommodation costs if necessary. So, now your family has now stayed in the hotel for three months extra when you were only supposed to stay for a month. But you were in a coma, you couldn't take care of it. You, know, you were in this major thing, but now, let's say you have to visit the insurance company. Right? So they was amputated, you were in a coma, and your family still in the hotel that you were supposed to leave two months ago. You are responsible for all those costs. You can't hold the car rental company no matter if the car uh, airbags fail to deploy or that maybe you could have saved your life, you can't hold them responsible because what they're going to say, we gave you the option to take this insurance up and you didn't want to. Now what must we do? Now, let's say you never took out any insurance, any, and that's the theft loss waiver, your collision damage waiver, and your personal uh, accident waiver and insurance. You're going to be responsible for fixing the car. If you were um, the reason the accident, if you caused the accident, you're going to pay the other person's damages plus the insurance's damages. 
if you were in uh, if you were injured in the accident, you need to pay your hospital bill and you can pay their hospital bill. So can you see what effects it can have if you are cheap? If you think that you know everything and you believe nothing is going to happen. That's why there is, this is in place so that it ensures you and assures you that if something happens, you are covered. That's why uh, car rental uh, companies have all these things to make sure that, you know, in the event something happens, you're fine. They don't have lawyers coming to them saying, no, oh, it's because of you that my client doesn't have a leg. They're going to say, but your client should have taken insurance out. You would have covered them if they had insurance, but now your client is cheap and they don't want to take insurance. So now what does it mean? There's nothing you can do. In the event of an accident or in the event that the car is stolen and everything, yeah. So I want to ask, like, if the car, let's say you break the car, then you get involved in a major car accident and you come to your car as an accident, do you still pay? Okay. Because if it was a chain reaction, your insurance will cover you, but you won't have to pay anything because it wasn't your fault. Oh, it was a chain reaction. Yeah. Actually, you had a question? Uh, so, the insurance cover the. Please speak up, I'm not here. Does the insurance cover the reactions? Does it cover the reactions? Lawyer, lawyer, lawyer. Lawyer, please. Uh,
So if you pay, so let's take your total, right, for your car rental, right? One percent of that total, you pay to South African tourism, and they use that money so that they can promote tourism.
Some companies start with a certain color patterns in the cost of refueling the car. So there, um, that just explains to you that some companies give you your fuel deposit back if you give the car back with fuel, but others are not going to charge you if they have to um, refuel the car on your behalf because it becomes an inconvenience. Now they have to take someone who is doing a certain job, take your car that you rented, but you were too busy to refuel it. So take it to the petrol station, wait for somebody to refill it, refill it, pay them right all the way back. Do you see the inconvenience behind it? Put yourself in the car rental uh, company's position. It's a, a major inconvenience because instead of now being productive and doing something else, they have to now cover up for your mistake. Do you guys understand? It takes time. Yeah, it takes time. And you guys know time is money. So, so, wait, let me just say, and go to the car and say, before you start the car, so, like, the food shows me into, like, when you start, it's still going to, like, the car rental doesn't know what it says. Can you charge the car rent for 20 pesos and cost that same convenience? Let me fill up with them. Then I'll just give you another car. No, they don't know if the car is empty. Oh, they, well, what they do is, remember when you return the car, they do checks. So if the car is empty, they will know. There's no way that they won't know. Do you understand? But I, I get where you're coming from. But they will make sure that you have a full tank of paper. Sir.